Welcome back friends, this is Salma Jagwe, I'm back with another exciting update and today we're going to be talking about uh, the new release from DAS Studio, from DAS 3D for DAS 3D, I can't even say it right, for DAS Studio and this is Genesis 9 and this is a major major change in this character so the, before they had like Genesis models that were not exactly universal but this one is is a major major up advance in uh, in terms of uh, geometry and quality and so this has just been announced today uh, so if you're watching this in the future you already may you may you may already have it <laughs> right but today I'm just talking about uh, the release that came out today and they talked about the release and I was fortunate enough to get a uh, exclusive invite to one of uh, the re like the reveal uh, by the peers and we got a chance to look at it in detail and so now it's just an announcement of what's coming ahead all your characters I think in terms going forward I'm um, gonna be I think this is the best way to go forward in terms of a, a universal model for both the male and female characters from Dust 3D and if you look down here uh, it's it's amazing what they've been able to do and you can see the mesh is universal which means that it's much easier to transition this mesh into for example a uh, um, female character so this is masculine and this is female and you can see the ease of use and so that means anyone who creates a model going forward is going to be able to create make it it's much more seamless now being able to transition between a male and female character and also creatures because of this universal mesh and you may have noticed that uh, here on the chest like when you go all the way to the right hand side they are definitely different like mesh updates for example you don't see that chest is different for sure and you can see when the edge flow is different right and so they have you can now do asymmetrical morphs which before wasn't exactly possible but it's this is important because when you're creating a character for your short film you want to be able to have asymmetrical you know properties so people don't look exactly perfect you want imperfect stories to make <laughs> a perfect, I guess, uh, impactful story. And you have double mesh density, which is awesome, improved for posing and animation. I can't wait to see what else is in this section right here, especially when it comes to like meta humans and uh, the AR kit. And they've separated the mouth and eye geometry, which is really important when it comes to like, uh, especially the omniverse because in Omniverse they have introduced an audio to face and updated approach where you can say you can use the separated eyes and mouth to be able to get create better lip sync 8k HD materials and uh, definitely this is important <laughs> right that means that for our facial animation it's going to be way more nuanced I can't wait to play with that as well and then you have the improved head shape eye distance, 8K maps, jaw adjustment, neck ratio. These are all fun things, right? Realistic human measurements. This is important, especially if you're gonna do like 3D printing. And also if you're doing like uh, films, like if you're gonna integrate these characters into like merging live footage with CG elements, it's important to have like a re realistic human measurement. And also like if you take it to the Unreal Engine, it's much easier to incorporate that, right? Expanded head and body shape uh, sets, symmetrical scale characters without losing proportions is very, very important. And then you have some like, promotional materials here. The main character that's going to be released first, I think, is Victoria and with that hair. That is incredible, the appearance of this model. And look at how realistic the model is so now in <laughs> meta humans are not the only like ultra realistic characters on the scene right there's uh this is an um, amazing amazing improvement but the fact is that if you can take this model into the unreal engine then it kind of makes an amazing transition like in terms of creating realistic content to match that with uh you know lumen yeah, in rendering and uh so again take a moment to just go through here and uh, read up just enjoy just even it's just eye candy and I can't wait for these models to become available so I can actually create some uh, short films and some tests with the facial animation but uh, yes this is what I want to share with you guys today 
is that they've just announced the release of uh, Genesis 9. And man, can't wait to see what other models are going to be added to this. So if you go to the shop over here, you're going to actually start seeing content that's related to uh, Genesis 9. So for example, you have Genesis 9 HD pre-sale over here. And I have uh, another HD pre-sale. This is 8.1. So as time goes on, I, I think these are going to change. But already you can see that I've uh, recently click on Victoria 9 HD. This is the bundle, right? So you're going to get uh, these models in here. So that's amazing. Can't wait to get my hands on this and get a look at uh, the character and be able to use this in short films. And not just uh, Victoria, I'm also looking forward to uh, like if they do Victoria 9, and then of course Michael 9 is going to follow. And then the other PAs, those who are creating for sale content, they were able to derive awesome, awesome models out of that. So guys, again today, thank you for joining me. We are looking at uh, the announcement for the release of Genesis 9 and awesome times ahead. <laughs> Please stay safe. And again, don't give up on your dream. If you have a script in mind, if you have a story, I think DAS really offers us a cool way to get into bring your story to life with all the incredible like environments that they provide in here the sets it's much easier for you to bring your concept to life and then when you get money and have a team that you can pay then you can bring this to life maybe pitch it to uh, like a uh, like on-demand service like uh netflix or you know with disney plus hulu <laughs> you name it i think that's the value of being able to get these ultra ultra realistic models so I think if you if you watch Love, Death and Robots, then I think this is a cool way to get into that kind of uh, content creation. It's not just metahumans, but you now have Genesis, right? A Victoria 9 or Genesis 9 coming on, on the scene. And for me, I can't wait for this to be compatible with the uh, DAS bridge, like uh, the bridge from DAS to the Unreal Engine. It's going to be so, so, super, super cool. Thank you again for joining me, guys. I'm continuing to bring for you. Please stay safe. Never give up on your dream. Much love to each and every one of you. And thank you for all my subscribers out there. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to hit that subscription button over here. Hit the notification once you subscribe so you are alerted when I post a new video. And being able to share like content like this, like when they finally release it, I want to be able to share short films. But and then thank you so much to my patrons, guys. I truly appreciate your support. Uh, thank you for helping me to get to 17.7 .7 subscribers. May we make it all the way to 20,000 and 30, 40, 50, and finally 100,000 and above. Awesome, awesome times, guys. All right. And by the way, guys, if you don't, haven't seen this, this is an updated tutorial that I shared that uh, updates the way you can animate metahumans using the Unreal uh, Live Link from iClone 8. iClone 8 characters are awesome in terms of uh, facial animation and gives you better nuance. And so this is an updated tutorial. Check it out when you get a chance and uh, among other videos over here. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Bye for now.